The woman who tricked everybody into thinking she was a victim of an acid attack pleads guilty today. K2's Anna Canzano is live in Vancouver where Bethany Starro went before a judge. So Anna, will she serve any or face any jail time? Deb, for now, she avoids jail time as long as she completes a year and a half long diversion program. It includes a month of community service, paying back the Vancouver Police Department about $4,000 in overtime that they spent covering her case, as well as completing a mental health treatment program. In court, she made two statements first, an admission of guilt, also an apology to the community, especially the African American community, for her claims. She pled guilty to lying to a police officer. Officer. But for now, again, she avoids a year in jail on the theft charge that she faced for taking donations from people who believed her story and wanted to help her. It was the story that was so shocking, so unbelievable, and ultimately so orchestrated. A brutal attack on Bethany Storo, her claims that a black woman threw acid on her face, causing her to drop to the ground, screaming near Vancouver's Esther Short Park. <laughs> People talked about admiring her courage, her fortitude, her humor even, despite the horrific circumstances. I'm trying to stay positive and I'm a happy person. I like making others laugh because I'm just hilarious. I mean, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Donations flooded in to help Storo, adding up to $28,000. Court documents indicate she spent 1500 of it on clothing, dinners, and a train ticket as well as a laser facial peel. But the truth came out, as it almost always does. Investigators say Storo admitted to them she'd done it to herself, putting drain cleaner on her face several times in a restroom hours before claiming she was attacked. An elaborate hoax that gained this troubled woman national attention and the sympathy of strangers. Bethany Storrow didn't say anything as she left court today, but in court, part of her apology, she just said simply that she was terribly sorry, that she was genuine and deeply sorry, and that all she could do is hope and pray that the community can forgive her. Reporting live in Clark County, Anna Canzano, K2 News.